first of all, I'd like to thank God for my salvation. Um, thank you, Pastor Roberts, Sister Kimberly, and all the leaders, and pastor's wives and pastors that just get on here. And, um, it's a privilege and honor to be here, and I thank God that I'm alive today. Yes. He brought me out of a lot, and um, I thank God that my whole family is here today. It's funny how um, Sister Kim told me to speak, and I was like, what? I wasn't sure if she was talking to me or Vanessa, and I was like, it can't be me, come on. But Vanessa has done it before, so I knew it was my turn. So I was like, and um, before that, I had asked God, you know, challenge me, test me, you know, and then, you know, he did. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm, I have to be ready, you know, I'm here. And um, I was going through a lot while I was like, oh my God, what am I going to speak about, you know? And I'm like, okay. So God was just like testing me and just challenging me and like, he just spoke to me. And, um, I just like to uh, thank God. Um, open your Bibles to Romans 12 too. And I would like to pray. Father God, I just come before you, Father. I just pray, my God, that you just lift me up, my God. And just for me to be your mouthpiece, Father. And I just pray, my God, that you just speak to everybody, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And it reads, Do not change yourself to be like the people of this world, but be changed within by a new way of thinking. Then you will then you will be able to decide what God wants for you. You will know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect. And it's like um, it's like saying, don't be like other people. Don't be something you're not, you know, don't be a fake, don't be a phony, you know? Just be yourself, you know? It's just like people love you the way you are, you know. People, God loves you who you are, you know? Um God made you for a reason. In his eyes, you're perfect, you know? Um but we don't see that. We don't see that we're perfect. We try so hard to fit in in the wrong crowd. You hang out, well, whoever you hang out with is who you become. You know, if you hang out with druggies, you become a druggie. If you hang out with godly people, you can become godly. You know? we, try so hard to, we try so hard to look a certain way, wanting to be skinny, wanting to be pretty. Sometimes we, we are willing to die to look a certain way. I almost did. Um, I wanted to be skinny. Um, so bad I turned into bulimia. That's how the devil tried to kill me. One day I was just hurting, my stomach was hurting bad, and I just cried out to God, and that's, he set me free from all of that. Yeah. It's not just doing yourself for a certain look. You're beautiful the way you are, inside and out. God loves you for who you are. Know who you are, you're God's child. So don't change to fit in. You're unique. You're different. You're you. You can say I'm different because I used to be like so insecure myself. I'm like, oh my God, I'm fat, you know? I was so insecure. And look at me today. I don't care how I look. I don't care what people have to say about me. I just need to, they just need to worry about themselves. I'm going for the Lord. I'm going God. I'm going to God today. I'm going to see God. You know, I'm so in love with God, you know, so with God I don't need to look a certain way for God to love me, you know? I don't need to be like anyone else. I'm unique, I'm different. And um, I would like to leave you with a quote. It's better to be a light for the true you than to be loved than who you people think you are. Amen. Yeah.